Hey everyone, let's take a quick look at the dashboard. Now this is what you see when you first log into Pocket, and there's a whole bunch of information here that you can start using right away. Now the first thing I want to point out is that what we're looking at right now is just one piece of the dashboard, and there's a few other pieces as well. And you can switch through them by using these circles all the way at the bottom of the screen. So in addition to what we see right here, we have a screen that's all about loading a visualization in helping you figure out which one you want to load right now. Um, and then additionally, the asset manager, which is all about managing and editing things like the filters you've built, the formulas you might have built, and different pieces for visualizations and so on. Um, but let's go back to the first one, the more, the most dashboardy of the, the dashboards. And we'll start up here at the top where we see some different bits of like metadata talking about the aspects of your database that's being tracked by Pocket. So in this database, we've got about 20,000 opponents, 100,000 hands, you know, 1,000 tournaments, and so on. And underneath that, we have a really simple line chart just showing you the winnings in this data set. You can control how much time is being shown in this by clicking on these buttons. Um, and also, you can switch around like the currency, for example, and, and whatnot. Below the line chart, we just have a simple table of your most recently played hands for a quick reference. You can click on these and it will load the hand detail straight away. And over here on the right, we've got some visualizations you might want to load right away, um, as well as some tips that you can learn more about how to use Pocket. You can click on it even to cycle through them. And finally, down here in the corner, we've got a feature for people that stream poker on a website like Twitch, for example. Um, and you can hook up your Pocket to your Twitch channel. But we'll cover all the details of that in a different video. Okay, so let's also take a look at this middle dashboard, which is all about loading a visualization. So from here, you just have a big list of every visualization you've made or the defaults that are in Pocket as well as a big search bar up here. So if you have a lot of visualization, you can search for it either by name or by some particular aspect of it, like all the circle graphs will show up when I type in circle, um, and so on. There's also a button where you can search by tag. For example, any visualizations I've tagged with villains will show up here. Cool, let's clear that out real quick. And finally, some options for sorting such as by the shape of the visualization. So all of the tables will show up together, for example. You can also switch around how this page looks by, for example, switching it into list mode or back to the compact view. And if you want to open one of these, all you have to do is just click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and load the hand browser here. And here it is. So to get back to the dashboard at any time, you just have to click on the Pocket logo up in the corner of the app. And it'll take you right to the dashboard. You can also hop, let's go back to hand browser, you can also hop right to the add a visualization screen by clicking the plus button over here. That will take you right to this page. And finally, we'll take a quick peek at the asset manager. This is where you can change around any formulas you've made, for example, or any filters you've made, um, or even any visualizations you've made. You can hop right into editing these from the Asset Manager. So actually, I'm going to hop back to the Add a Visualization screen and point out one more really cool thing you can do from the dashboard. So up here where you have the different facets of your database, you can click on these numbers and you'll get a pop-up when you do. Um, this is the one for players, and this is a really useful way to filter or seed a visualization on things that we think might be useful to you. So for example, here with the player window, we can filter a visualization to just one of the heroes that we have, or see a visualization where we played against just one person in particular. And if we hop over to hands, we can look at recently played hands, recently tagged or starred hands. And of course, in tournaments, you can filter by just a particular recent tournament. And over in the far right one, you can set it to just a particular year, for example. So only data from 2016 at this point. 
and now only data from March 2016 at this point. Uh, I'm going to undo that real quick. And maybe we'll try a quick example. So maybe for an example, I'll load a single tournament. Let's see. There's one I won. Here it is. 75 hands, first place. Now I'll choose maybe live streaming stacks right here. So this visualization shows the amount of chips through time at a table. And because I seeded the visualization, it's showing me that tournament right there, the 75 hand tournament. Cool. So I hope you get really comfortable with using the different dashboards. And I hope you do some really cool things with them. Thanks for watching.